Hello everybody, Mr. Kaczynski here, continuing to work through section F of IXL's 8th grade math skills and still working with cube roots. Today we're going to do an introduction to solving equations using cube roots. So if we have an equation like this where k cubed equals 125, what's k? And they even tell us that k is the cube root of 125, and that's 5. Alright, so... If we do the same thing to both sides of this equation, if we take the cube root of k cubed, that's k, because k times k times k is k cubed. And if we take the cube root of 125, that's 5, because 5 times 5 times 5, also known as 5 cubed, is 125. So s cubed is 27, what's s? S would have to be 3, because that's the number that when you cube it, 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 is 27, you get 27. So S must be 3. What number cubed gives us 512? Well, maybe we need a calculator and we could do a cube root. So usually there's an nth root button. You type in that you want it to be a third root, 512. Cube root of 512 is 8. So r must be 8 because 8 cubed equals 512. There it is. So 8. y cubed equals 0. I don't think we need a calculator for this. What number cubed gives us 0? That's 0. 0 times 0 times 0 is 0. Uh, and that's why the cube root of 0 is 0. And then don't forget that we can take cube roots of negatives here, okay? r cubed is negative 343. It's a negative number, so r must be a negative number. Now again, maybe we reach for the calculator here, and we do a cube root. Again, we know it's negative, so we don't really need to type in the negative, but there it is. It's going to be negative 7. If we do put in the negative, there's your negative 7. And one more. What about the, if h cubed is negative 216, what's h? That's going to be negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36 times another negative 6 would be negative 216. Let's show that on the calculator. Negative 6 to the power of 3, or cubed, is negative 216. So that's our answer, also known as the cube root of negative 216 is negative 6. So that's an introduction to solving equations using cube roots. Good luck and let me know how it goes.